Okay, so it's almost Halloween and I'm going to start adding to my decorations. I do a Pirates of the Caribbean theme. And last year I did this. Um, this is from the ride where you see all the, um, the treasures that are all over inside the cave. And you have that one skeleton sitting on top of the pile of gold coins. So I want to do that again. But last year I did a treasure chest on his lap and he had all the gold Rolos. And the kids would just go up and take the gold Rolos out of there. But I was looking around and I saw these on Amazon. You can get 500 of them for around $100. And so I want to use these. These are, you know, a replica of the Aztec gold that was um, in the movie. But I figured if I'm going to do that, then I need to do the Aztec treasure chest. So this is going to be me um, building the treasure chest. I'm just going to do like a simple little build on this. So that treasure chest has some pretty unique uh, angles on it. I did a 45 degree bevel at a 12 degree miter um, to make it, you know, to create that look of the treasure chest. And then I went to Google Images. And I printed off the design. And now what I'm going to do is just um, take some spray glue and I'm going to glue this paper onto that board. And then I'm going to um, use my router to go through and everything that's black, I'm going to router that out. So that should leave me the design that you see on the treasure chest. Well, relatively close. I mean, I, I'm not trying to be too perfect with this. I'm just kind of throwing it together. So I'm just finishing up routering it out. Now I'm going to take my heat gun. Um, this just helps me peel the uh, paper off once it's been glued on there. So once it was routered, I just spray painted the whole thing. And now I'm going to um, use a little bit of wood glue and some brad nails to put the treasure chest together. So once it's all put together, I'm going to just take some, um, some gray paint and a roller. And then I can roll over what I sprayed black and that'll leave the... Um, indentation carving still there and this is what I ended up with so not perfect but close enough okay so this is the scene that I'm trying to replicate you can see there's just uh, tons of um, treasure all over the place and so what I do to replicate it is I go to the thrift store and I just try to find things that I think I can make um, look like this stuff you know I'll find these old plates and Sometimes I leave them alone and sometimes I'll take a, a gold spray paint and spray paint them just to give them a little bit better look. Um, you can see I'm just going to kind of run through a, a few different things here. So you can see I just, you know, I, I buy these little trinkets on the days that the, uh, the stores are 50% off and just kind of save them up and then... Uh, spray them all gold and I got like three or four different uh, colors of gold it's nice to have different varieties um, in color you can see like some things I won't even spray I'll just you know leave it there let this candlestick alone but this elephant I think it was like 99 cents to cool little elephant but um, like I was saying I just you like you know to have three or four different varieties of, of gold and then I usually use a, a yellow light if you put it like a yellow lights um, in the corner somewhere, it, it kind of brings out the gold and all these things. You see, that's a candlestick. I spray painted gold. Oh, and, and lamps. I like to use these. You know, if you just remove all the lighting components, you have like a 17th century uh, pirate treasure. This is a, a concrete cast of a sphinx I got off of uh, Craigslist for about 10 bucks. It's in pretty sad shape though. It's got a lot of cracks on it and the paint's completely worn off. So I'm going to take some joint compound and smooth it out again, um, fill in all the cracks and where the, uh, the aggregate is showing through. And then I'll take some uh, high gloss gold metal paint and just paint it gold and then add a little bit of high gloss black. So I took some great stuff and uh, fill in this vase until it was overflowing like that. So now I'm going to come back through and, and hot glue all these um, gold coins onto it just so it makes it look like the vase is overflowing with pirate coins.
So that's pretty much it. This is how you turn a, a bunch of two and three dollar thrift store items into my golden uh, pirate treasure here. I guess that's where the term one man's trash is another man's treasure comes from. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video.